Are we good? Okay. Okay, hey everyone, so for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a few things that I keep in my truck for the kids that I find helpful, so be sure to like and subscribe before my intro comes on. That's a little too fun, you cool. Oh, I fucked up, okay, hold on. I keep in the car, is my arm like awkward right here? Hey everyone, so, oh my God, Slevin's crying. Hey everyone, so for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a few things that I keep in the truck for my kids that I find helpful. <laughs> no, keep it up like that. Like that? Yeah. Okay. And stop blinking so much. Okay. It sounds like you're rapping, dude. <laughs> Okay, I'll slow it down. Hey, this everyone. is serious. Okay, you gotta say action. Action. Okay. Don't say like things that help me throughout the day with the kids. Just keep it short and sweet, to the point. Hey everyone, so for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a few things that I keep in the truck that I find helpful whenever I'm out and about with the kids. So be sure to like and subscribe before my intro starts. Wait, so be sure to like and subscribe while my intro's playing. Okay, whatever, just film me if I can drive now. So you wanna be a player? But your wheels ain't fly. You gotta hit us up to get a pimped out ride. You got to pimp my ride. Damn right. You got to pimp my ride. Okay, so the two things that I want to talk about first are these two books that I keep in the car for Penelope. Now she's four years old, and I think I've been doing this since she was about three. Um, I found these books at a garage sale and it kind of gave me the idea. It's called Look and Find Treasury Books, so it's kind of like Where's Waldo, but they're in kid form, so it's a little bit easier than Where's Waldo. Um, and they're like, this one's a princess one, or this one's a Toy Story one, mixed in with like cars and Finding Nemo, um, stuff like that. So these I love because they keep her busy in the car without giving her the iPad. Probably not, you know, against giving your kid the iPad in the car. I just think that it's nice to give them other options than just the iPad. Um, when P was a little girl, like I would say like maybe two years old is when we kind of started giving the, her the iPad more and more. Um, I noticed that she was like learning her shapes and colors and stuff like that. So there's definitely a positive side to giving your kid the iPad. I thought that was pretty cool. Like she learned some stuff while I was just like driving around town, you know, over time. Um, but as she got older, she kind of wanted to watch more shows and play with games. So I was like, eh, like I think that we need to look into other options instead of just always giving her the iPad. So um, I came up with this idea, just like I said, I was at a garage sale. I was like, wow, this would be really cool just to keep in the car just so that, you know, she's not so addicted to the iPad. You know, if we were to forget the iPad at home, she would get upset about it, which I understand, you know? But um, that's whenever it clicked in my head, like, you know, I don't want my kid to grow up to be a brat and be like, I want my iPad, like, or I'm not getting my iPad, you know, and then I'm gonna cry, you know? So um, we stopped giving her the iPad less and less um, and started giving her these. You know, it's nice, she doesn't get the iPad like hardly ever and she's totally fine with um, these or the toys that I keep in the car. So now as far as toys that I keep in the car for Penelope, um, right now with her age, I kind of just like ask her, like, what do you want me to put in the car? And I kind of like to rotate it every month just because you know, she gets over them pretty easily. So right now in the car, she has, um, I think about six different Barbies. And um, right now she's really into like rotating which Barbies are in the car. So um, that keeps her busy as well. And then as far as Slevin goes with his toys, um, he's really not like a toy baby, if that makes sense. Like he just like, he, he kind of gets over stuff really easily, but for the moment in the car, um, I actually found that at Walmart and Target in their little bath section for kids, like their bath toys, um, I like giving him those because he can like teeth on them, like nibble on them and stuff, um, and play with them I guess if he wanted to, but he doesn't really play with them. Um, but the reason why I like giving him those type of toys in the car is because, you know, if we're out and about all day and he's touching the grocery cart or whatever it is, um, those type of toys are easy to clean off. So for right now, those are the type of toys that I keep in the car for him. So now before I go over what I keep in my basket, um, I have done this video a long time ago when Penelope was like Slevin's age right now. So maybe P was like, I don't even know if she was like a year old yet, or maybe she was a little over a year. I'm not really entirely sure. Um, but the last time I showed you guys, um, what was in my car, it was like a big trunk. So like those of you who have been following me for like years, um, you guys have seen that video where I had like an owl trunk in the back of my car. Um, I eventually got rid of that and I decided to have just a smaller basket in the car with two kids now. Um, so I put this right um, in the passenger back seat, right behind P's car seat, just so it's easy for me to always get to. 
Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start pulling out some things and explaining uh, the different stuff that I have in here. Before I go ahead and show you guys everything that I have in my basket, um, I'm gonna talk about things that I keep inside of my center console. So the first thing that I keep in my center console is a hand sanitizer. Um, I personally don't like using the really small little ones. I just feel like I go through them super quick. So I like kind of like the medium sized one and that it has a pump to it. Um, so like anytime we leave, you know, a grocery store or anywhere if we're out and about, I always like having this handy so it's easy and convenient just to keep it in the car. Um, and Penelope is, has been old enough now for a long time to where I could just pass it back to her and she uses it. So if you don't have one of these in your car, I really recommend getting them because, you know, it avoids, you know, getting sick often. Okay, so another must have in the car are CDs, kids CDs or your CDs. Um, you know, I don't think a lot of people do CDs anymore. I'm sure a lot of people just do like Pandora or whatever. Um, me, I personally uh, just like making old school CDs. These are fun because you can pop them inside DVD players too and listen to them throughout the day. Um, so that's what we do. I still, um, you know, make CDs as if I'm like in middle school or high school still, but it makes it fun like when me and Penelope like kind of um, sit down and try to pick out like, okay, what songs do we want? Like, oh, let's, you know, let's get some from Frozen or Moana or Elena, whatever. Plus it makes it fun because Penelope's four years old, so I've been doing this like every few months for her and I'll write down her age, like Penelope's four-year-old mixtape, you know? So it's like cool to like look back at like her old CDs from when she was like two or two and a half. I'm like, oh my gosh, like I remember when she was that, you know, that little and like listening to whatever song it was. So it's like nice to like go back and look at what she was like into. So this is kind of random, but um, I have scissors for, you know, if there was ever like an emergency as far as like, you know, if we were getting a car accident and I don't know, I needed to cut a seatbelt. I know that they make seatbelt cutters, which I should, I guess, order one, but um, I have really heavy duty scissors just, you know, just in case. Um, this I got on the Wish app. I know a lot of people have like asked me about that. Like I have heard so many like weird things about the Wish app or good things or bad things, whatever. Um, I love the Wish app and this is like one thing that I got on there for three bucks. Um, so what it is, is a um, little CPR thing. Um, so the way I look at it is like, let's say there was like a stranger and I'm like, I don't know, maybe I needed to give CPR as far fetched as that sounds. I've note of people who have been in like weird situations where like they just like had to give somebody CPR and um, you know I know that my sister used to have a thing on her keychain I don't know if she still does but anyway I thought that this was pretty cool because you don't actually necessarily have to go mouth to mouth um, so I'll leave that in a link below so you guys can go ahead and check this out. So the next thing that I have in my center console are these disposable placemats. These are so awesome. Um, I didn't know that these existed. I actually just happened to be shopping at Walmart and I was like what is that? Is that like what I'm thinking it is? Um, so like, you know, how like if you're bringing your kid to a restaurant, like, you know, you're like, okay, do I give my baby food on the plate or do I put it on the table? You know, it's like, okay, if I give my kid the plate, like there's a possibility that the plate is going to like fall, you know, um, or do I put it on the dirty table? They're pretty awesome because they have like sticky ends over all four corners. So like you just rip them apart and then just lay it down over the table and then you can just easily put the food on there. So I always keep these handy, there's 12 of them, and it's just easy to roll up and throw away when you're done too. So yeah, if you don't have these, I really recommend you getting them because they're pretty awesome. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, get into the basket. So first things first, um, with the weather, I always like to have backups of everything, um, whether it's summertime or wintertime. So, in Vegas right now, we're just kind of going into summertime, but um, during the winter time, I always like to have the kids have spare jackets in the car, um, just because, you know, as moms, there are times where we forget the kids' jackets, so it's always nice to have backups in the car. Um, or, you know, with kids, you know, sometimes they spill. So, like, let's say it's winter and your kid spills, you know, a drink on their um, jacket in a restaurant or something like that, or at a store, then it's nice to, you know, have a backup in the car. So I have jackets and beanies for the kids. So now that winter is obviously turning into summer, I'm gonna have to go ahead and hang those up and put some like t-shirts or pants. Um, just like I said, it's always nice to have a spare change of clothes for kids no matter what age. Just like you never know if there's gonna be an accident and those accidents do happen. <laughs> Next, I always like to keep a tote bag in the car because I'm somebody who I love keeping my car clean and nothing extra in the car. I hate it whenever there's water bottles in the car or any like just junk that is like unnecessary that you don't need. So like anytime I get out of the car and like let's say, you know, it's been a long day, Will and I, you know, have been shopping all day or, you know, just everything kind of adds up as far as like what we accumulate through going to the store or going shopping or going to a restaurant. Like, kind of just like collect a lot of stuff. So having a tote bag in your car makes it easy to kind of 
throw everything into here and then bring it inside so that you can go through it. Throw away trash and you know put stuff away. So um, definitely recommend having a tote bag in your basket at all times. So next I have this. Um, this is like a whole other topic that I could probably talk about forever. Um, it's like a safety bracelet for your kid. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen it go around on um, you know Instagram or Facebook. Um, it really comes in handy. I tend to only use it, you know, because now I have two kids, so it's a little bit harder. Um, I tend to only use it when I go um, out and about without Will, but I love it. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about this, but um, I'll definitely list a link below so that you guys can um, learn more about it. Um, so next, because Slevin's still a baby and, you know, babies have like blowouts sometimes, so I always like to keep um, a spare baggie of pants for Slevin and socks just in case, like I said, accidents or spills happen. Um, it's always nice to have those in handy. So another thing that I have in my basket are diapers and wipes. Um, I know this sounds kind of like common sense that you should already have in your diaper bag, but, um, you know, there have been times where I've forgotten to stock up my diaper bag with diapers. And it was like really bad. I was changing Penelope's diaper one time at a restaurant and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have diapers for her. Like I just forgot to stock up my diaper bag. So ever since that time, I've always had a spare uh, diapers in the car just in case, like I said, for emergency reasons. So another thing that goes hand in hand with the diapers and wipes are um, the bags to put the dirty diapers in. Um, if you guys watch my diaper bag video, I do already have these, but like I said, it's like a backup for a backup, you know, it's nice to have a plan B. Another thing that I have in here are disposable changing pads. Um, I've never used these for Slevin, maybe with Penelope I used it once. Um, you know, these are for um, if you happen to go into a public bathroom and there's nothing, you know, to put your baby on. Um, as far as like something clean and sanitary, um, it's nice to have these disposable ones because it's like you lay the pad out and then you can change them on like a clean area and then roll it up and throw it away. So these are nice to have for situations like that if you were to go to the mall or something. I still have this same first aid kit um, in here. There's um, all kinds of different cool things in here for babies. Um, this is specifically made like just for kids. Um, so there's all kinds of really cool stuff in here like an ice pack, tweezers, um, scissors, band-aids, stuff like that um, that can come in handy for emergency reasons. You know, for me, um, you know, some of this stuff may not be necessary to other moms or may think like, why does she have so many things like extra in her car? Like, what is the purpose of it? But for me, um, I'm the type of person where I like to have backups for my backups, obviously. Um, you know, it's just in life, sometimes things happen and they're unexpected, so I always like to be prepared. And then I also have some sunscreen in here. Sunscreen always comes in handy because um, this is something that I don't like carrying around in my purse because, um, you know, carrying liquids and stuff like that in your purse, diaper bag, backpack, whatever, um, scares me a little bit because there have been times where like, you know, the cap's not turned or, you know, just having like liquids in your purse is like kind of a no-no. So the last two things I have in here are um, stroller netting and a car seat netting. Um, so what they are is like, it's just like a really big net that you put over the stroller or over like just like an infant car seat. Um, even though I haven't used these too many times because in Vegas there's not too many bugs out here um, like that, but there have been times where like we go for a picnic or to the park or whatever and um, you know we're sitting there and maybe there's a few flies or bugs or whatever it is. Um, and I've had to just use this over the stroller or over Slevin's car seat when he was a baby. Um, so even though, in, like I said, in Vegas, like we don't have too many bugs, I know that there's other places around, you know, the US that have like bugs and stuff. So if you don't have these, um, I, to me personally, I think they're worth getting. So another thing I like to keep in the car are blankets. Like I said, the season's changing. It's about to be summertime, but um, during the winter time, I had these really badass blankets from my friend Stephanie that makes them. I'll link her, um, link below, but these really cute, perfect size blankets for the car and they're super badass pattern. So um, like I said, I'll link her stuff below. Her stuff is like so awesome. Like I have these for the house too. So she makes them in all different sizes, but it's like this one and she even makes bigger ones too, but um, they're just like really cool patterns and they're super unique and badass. So um, definitely check her page out. But yeah, this is like something that I have for the car for Slevin since he was a baby. And Penelope has one too, it's like all owls and stuff. But yeah, I just love them because they're like perfect size for the car seats. Um, and we definitely got some good use out of these in the car this past winter. And then I also like to keep um, a pen and paper in my car because um, you never know when you might need a pen and paper. Um, 
if you happen to get into an accident and you need to write some stuff down or, um, you know, there have been times where I'm like, you know, my phone died and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to write the name of that down or whatever it is. It's always nice to have a pen and paper. Another thing that I want to talk about are these baby on board um, stickers for your windows. Um, I have two of them because obviously I have two kids. Um, some people I've noticed in mommy groups don't know what these mean. I was um, surprised to find out that a lot of moms were like, whoa, like I had no idea that that's what, you know, those meant. That like, let's say you get into a car accident, this lets other people know that there are not only kids in the car, but there's kids in the car that are unable to um, unstrap themselves. Um, so this is something to have for safety reasons. sharing my tips because I feel like sometimes they could be helpful to others um, and I always want to exaggerate that like everything that I post I'm not saying this is something that you have to do these are just things that help me that I hope that you guys could gain a few tips from um, and again I know that I don't put out as many videos as I would like to as often as I would like to um, I think I've explained this before um, I'm somebody who always likes to explain myself um, because um, you guys, a lot of you guys have been following me for a really long time and I appreciate all of, you know, the follows and the comments and even on my Instagram, um, there's been so many of you guys who have stuck around for so long and, you know, I like will look at your pages and be like, oh my gosh, like, wow, they have been following me since like forever ago when I first started my YouTube channel. So I appreciate everyone so much who enjoys watching my videos. Like I said, even though I don't, um, share them as, or like, you know, make videos as often as I would like to, it just, um. It's really hard for me because I'm somebody who not only puts my all into my kids, but um, I also put a lot into my house too. I'm like, you guys know, I'm like a neat freak and stuff. So, you know, the time that I have to film and to edit is um, very little. So like even just to film this right now, Will is outside with the kids playing with them so that I could film because I tried filming um, the other day by myself when he was at work and it was just like not happening. So I was like, okay, you know, just a bad day. Like, let's try it again, you know, tomorrow. So I tried it again tomorrow, or the next day, whatever. And man, it was just like the same thing. Slevin is just so busy. Um, Penelope's at an age where she, I could easily, she can easily be entertained by herself. Slevin is just like, oh my gosh, what is this camera? Like, you know, I stacked the camera up um, on like a ton of books and stuff. So he was like, I want this, you know? So he was like pulling on the strap of the camera. I'm like, oh my gosh, like I can't do this. Like I have to film when Will's here. So yeah, even though I'm unable to like, you know, post videos once a month, like I would really like to um, just for the time being right now um, with the kids and their age that they are, I think I'm just gonna stick to doing what I'm doing and post every, you know, every couple of months and just stick to it like that for now. But. Um, Maybe when Penelope goes to school and Slevin's a little bit older, you know, that will change obviously because I'll have more time to put into my YouTube account. But I just want to say I really appreciate everyone who has followed me for so long or even if um, you're like new to following me. It really makes me happy whenever I see the feedback of other people like, wow, like I gained a lot from it. Like, thank you so much. Like, you're so inspiring. Like all those comments or um, a lot of DMs from you guys I always like screenshot and save just because it makes me feel like wow like it makes it so worth it to me that I share like all my little tips and that some of you guys think that um, you know it could be helpful in any way so um, stay tuned for my next video I'm not sure what I'm gonna do um, I might do like a poll um, and maybe hop on like live or something and see what you guys want to see next so yeah make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram account so you guys can see it.
Thank you.